Broken arms always have stories behind them. This one, this specific broken arm, however, just so happens to have a story on and around it as well. This is a cast. And you're probably thinking, why is it plastic? Why is it plastic? And why does it look like it's jumped straight from the middle of a science fiction flick? It makes me feel like Iron Man a little bit. <laughs> well, this cast is made using two things, advanced printing and the science of 3D body scans. It's accurate to the half millimeter of your body image. Scan complete, the data is put into a 3D printer, and after a time, a cast, waterproof and breathable, is born. So customization really is the future of manufacturing here in the US, in, in my opinion, and especially in medicine. Now all this innovation, years of it, comes from the mind and work of Diana Hall, yeah. a Pueblo local whose work is near and dear to her heart. My brother had cystic fibrosis, so I spent a lot of time in children's hospital growing up. And I knew that I was meant to uh, help people who have chronic conditions or who have some sort of health issue where they need to have their quality of life improved. And that knowledge set her down this path, a path that appears to have her traversing the nation. And so we opened up eight clinics across the country. We're looking at four more this year. And while the group continues expansion on Earth, NASA has recognized their potential for more. That leads us to space. In September, Active Armor, alongside 25 other companies, made it to the semifinals for the NASA iTech Initiative, a program dedicated to seeking out technologies that can address issues that may be faced in future space exploration. When you have 3D printing in space, you just take the raw materials and you can make whatever you need. Back here on our planet, this Pueblo startup's next steps will result in a clinic opening in Denver by the end of the year. The creation of more casts for more body parts. We're moving into torsos right now. Um, we're doing full leg casts. And Diana hopes a long-term and large scale change. We're hoping, of course, that it becomes a standard of care eventually. I mean, my goal is to move this forward to be a point of service model where you walk into a clinic, you get a scan and your device is manufactured there and put on you uh, within a matter of hours.